All right. So what we're going to talk about now is something called the endomembrane system. It's a system. So it's made up of multiple things. That every time you hear the word system, that means all oh, we're dealing with multiple components. And here they are. This, the endomembrane system is a collection of cellular structures or organelles within your cell. And their main job is to make is to make and traffic proteins. That means make protein and send them for delivery. Sometimes the endomembrane system will send the protein out of the cell. That would be called a secreted protein. Like insulin, for example, is a secreted hormone protein. Sometimes the protein that the endomembrane system is making is going to eventually find itself inside the cell membrane. And that's called a membrane protein. And sometimes it gets thrown into a vesicle like this one called the lysosome. And those would be called hydrolytic enzymes. So let's do it again. What I'm trying to tell you is the endomembrane system makes three different kinds of proteins. Secreted proteins, those leave the cell. Example of that is insulin. Membrane proteins, those eventually find themselves embedded in the cell membrane, like a sodium channel protein, a glucose transporter, a receptor, an insulin receptor. Those are membrane proteins. And the other kind of protein that the endomembrane system, if you're paying attention with me here, is the hydrolytic enzymes. Those hydrolytic enzymes, those are going to be found in lysosomes. Your classmates talked about them. Lysosomes are the recycling centers because they have hydrolytic enzymes. These enzymes break down macromolecules. That's why we call them the recycling center. They break down food particles, they recycle dead organelles. Now listen to me carefully here. If we're making a secreted protein, I hope you're watching the show up here. If you're making a secreted protein, all of these are involved except for lysosomes. Nice question on the exam. So if we're making insulin, the nuclear envelope is involved, the endoplasmic reticulum is involved, the Golgi apparatus is involved, the vacuoles or vesicles, the transport vehicle, transport vehicles, and the plasma membrane. Why? Because it has to leave the cell. It's similar to me saying this. When you leave this room, will the door be involved in your leaving? I hope so. Otherwise, it's going to hurt you if you just try to walk through it. You have to open it and get go out. That's the same thing. For me to secrete a protein, the cell membrane is involved. Okay, here's the other thing. If I'm making membrane proteins, what do you think? Do you think the membrane is involved when I'm making membrane proteins? Yeah, because that's where they're going to live eventually. So when I'm making a membrane protein, again, the nuclear envelope, the endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi, the vacuoles slash vesicles, and the plasma membrane is, it, is the endomembrane <coughs> system involved. When I'm making hydrolytic enzymes, catch this, it's the lysosomes that are involved, not the plasma membrane. Oh yeah, this is important. You can tell this is critical for your understanding. It's your protein trafficking machinery in your cell that's keeping you alive, making proteins for you. And proteins do everything. everything. We're just talking about three different kinds. Secreted membrane proteins and the hydrolytic enzymes which are found in lysosomes. So look what happens when you're making a hydrolytic enzyme it's exactly the same thing, but the final vesicle, watch up here please, look, look. The final vesicle 
that would have went to the membrane for delivery decides, no, 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 I'm going to become a lysosome. And I'm going to hang around in the cell. That's like your recycling truck, the blue truck that comes on your garbage day. That's the recycling truck never leaving your city. It never leaves the borders of your city. It can keep driving around inside your city looking for things to recycle, but it will never leave your city. It's the same thing. This lysosome will go around looking for dead organelles, things to recycle, but it will never fuse with the membrane to leave. So the membrane is not involved. So what you look at here is saying, it's either the lysosome is the final thing or the plasma membrane is the final component of the endomembrane system. It depends on who I'm dealing with or what I'm dealing with. If I'm dealing with a hormone like insulin, it's the plasma membrane that's the final component of the endomembrane system. Why? Because the hormone has to leave the cell. If I'm dealing with a membrane protein, again, it's the plasma membrane that's the final component of the endomembrane system. Why? Because it resides there. The membrane proteins live in the membrane. So of course it's involved. The only thing is when I'm making hydrolytic enzymes, when I'm making hydrolytic enzymes, the lysosomes are the final component of the endomembrane system because these are basically containers of hydrolytic enzymes that go through the cytoplasm looking for things to recycle. They don't fuse with the membrane to leave the cell. So you can tell it is involved in the sense that it is important for you to understand this. And there is a tutorial on it that takes you to YouTube, another video, not my video, but a different video and a different perspective. Yes, sir. Oh, and they will do the hydrolytic enzymes will go through the nuclear the the mRNA that makes the hydrolytic enzyme will go through the nuclear envelope attach itself to a ribosome on the rough ER to make the protein the hydrolytic enzyme then it's going to get packaged sorted and uh, modified in the Golgi apparatus like any other protein and it will eventually end up in a lysosome so for example insulin the gene for insulin is gonna be expressed. It's gonna be copied into mRNA. The, the insulin mRNA will leave the nucleus, attach itself to a ribosome, the protein factory. The ribosome will be the one that's making the insulin protein. Because you just told me, ribosomes make proteins. Well, we're dealing with the rough ER, so that protein is gonna eventually be thrown in the rough ER put on the vesicle, the delivery truck, to go to the cis face of the Golgi. That's your front door of the post office. Inside the Golgi, it can be packaged and sorted for final delivery. And then the insulin protein will be put on a delivery truck, another vesicle, leaving from the other side of the Golgi, which is the trans and it will eventually fuse with the cell membrane to secrete the hormone because it's a secreted protein. Same thing is gonna happen, same exact thing is gonna happen if you're dealing with a membrane protein, but that is gonna eventually embed itself in the membrane. When we're talking about hydrolytic enzymes, like you asked, same thing is gonna happen. A hydrolytic enzyme gene it's gonna it get expressed, mRNA comes out, the ribosome translates it into the hydrolytic enzyme protein, gets thrown in the ER, gets delivered to the Golgi, gets packaged and sorted, put on a delivery truck that becomes a lysosome. Do you see that? Did I answer your question? Yeah. Now that one stays in the cytoplasm and it keeps looking for things to recycle. So you guys talked about all of these things and their functions, 
All I did was put them together. The Golgi apparatus package sorts, modifies proteins, yeah? The rough ER makes proteins, yeah? The vesicles deliver, good. This is like you telling me what this machine does and that machine does and that machine does on an assembly line in a factory. So imagine you're in a factory and I'm with you. You're telling me this machine boxes the chocolates. Okay, good. This machine mixes the chocolate or whatever. So every machine has a job. And then you put them in a certain assembly line in a certain order. So then it starts the process. And then by the time you're done with it, what do you have? A box of chocolate that we'll eventually put on a delivery truck for delivery. You see? It's no different than that. This is the manufacturing site, the trafficking site of proteins. And eventually it gets delivered into three to three places depending on which package you put together. If you put a secreted protein together, you're secreting it. That's like a hormone. If you're putting a membrane protein together, then it stays in the membrane. That's the final destination for that one. If you're making hydrolytic enzymes, then they get then they are packaged and and, and placed in a, a lysosome. And everyone, of course, has its job. <coughs>